Hello, everyone. You know, I, I like being back among the Tea Party folks, the Tenth Amendment folks. Um, a little over a year ago, I stood out there where most of you guys are at now, trying to figure out what I could do to affect my country, what I could do to make a change. And uh, this crazy little surveyor from over at Richlands decided he was going to run for Congress. And I do want you guys to know something right now. Every one of you folks out there today can do the same thing. Uh, all you got to do is have the desire and the will to step up and try to make an impact and try to make a difference. So I'd like to encourage everyone out there today to step up and do that. Whatever it is, local office, state office, federal office, it doesn't matter. We can make a change, but we can only make a change if folks like you get involved. Not just showing up at rallies and not just protesting, but get in the system and let's clean it up and tear the guts out of it and fix it and set our country back the way it was intended to be. Now, as you know, like I said, I'm one of the candidates for Congress, but today I am only going to be here as a fellow American patriot. I'm not here to make a stump speech today. Because what's going on here today is bigger than me. What's going on here today is bigger than any one candidate. What's going on here today is that the sons of Washington and Jefferson and Henry are fired up and they're mad and they're not going to take it anymore. I've been all over the 9th District of Virginia the past month and a half and I've talked to hundreds of people. And you know what? They're fired up too. And you know what? I'm stirred up. I'm fired up and I'm ready to make some changes. Washington isn't listening. They're asleep at the wheel and this November a wake-up call is coming. Woo! Now we're all gathered here together just two days after tax day. And despite the fact that DC took in 2.1 trillion dollars last year, they still went 1.4 trillion in the hole. Now I don't know about you folks, but I think that's justification for dismissal this November. And not only is it time for dismissal, it's time for some major changes. It is time for us to bring back our Constitution and make them adhere to it. It is time to respect the Tenth Amendment and states' rights again. It is time to eliminate all these unconstitutional agencies and bureaucracies. Yeah. Yeah. It is time to cut taxes and spending. Yeah. We have got to begin to produce surpluses to pay off this debt. Right. Yeah. It is immoral to leave the mistakes that we've made today for the generations to come. Yeah. It is time to end the corporate welfare and the bailouts. I'm tired of making a profit at my business and struggling to make that profit only to turn around and take a portion of it and send it to poor people who can't balance their own budget. Yeah. It's time for D.C. to tighten their belt, not small business. Right. It's time to get the government off the backs of our energy producers. We have got to end our dependence on foreign sources of fuel and put our people back to work producing our own sources of fuel. It's time to get the government out of our health care. We must repeal this 2,700 page mess that the Congress and our President just created. They bankrupt everything they touch and this will be no different. And you know what? It's time for term limits. Yay! Lifetime politicians have got to go. Thomas Jefferson said the concentration of power in the same hands is the very definition of despotic government. I don't know about you, but I've got Mr. Jefferson's back on that one. It's time that we choose a side. Pelosi, Reed, and Obama, or Jefferson, Henry, and Washington. I know which side I'm taking. It all begins here. It all begins today. You know, Tea Partiers have been called astroturfers. We've been called teabaggers. We've even been called traitors. 
Well, you know what our great founder Patrick Henry said when he was called a traitor? He said, if this be treason, then let us make the most of it. How can I be a traitor when all I want is a return to a constitutional form of government and our great founding principles? So let us unite here today. Let us rise up as a sovereign people and say in one voice to Washington, D.C. that we are not your subjects and you do not dictate to us. Let us begin the process of restoring our republic so that we be, may be known to future generations as the re-founding fathers of America. Thank you.